Hi Fire Starters, this is Monet coming to you from beautiful New Zealand. Apart from all the vlogs that Salah and Laka are doing in Australia, I'll be coming to you with some sport talk. I love sports, from rugby union, rugby league, and especially American sports like NBA and the NFL. So ideally, I'll be expressing my views and my thoughts on the hot topics in the crazy world of sports. Disclaimer, these are my thoughts and my opinion only. So without any delay, let's get into it. What's going on with Laka Matoha vs Australia? In recent weeks, NRL boss Todd Greenberg has been busy negotiating with the NZRL about a potential exhibition match between Australia and Tonga. Currently, all signs say that this game will go through. However, the process hasn't been the easiest as there were talks on the match not materialising due to the immense amount of funds required to host a nation like Australia to even host the Kangaroos with player salaries plus coaching staff etc. In order to revive the possibility of this match happening, this was due largely with the help of Australian Kangaroo players taking a significant pay cut, Aussie players will receive a one-off reduction so that match payments for both teams are even. In an article from NRL.com editor Brad Walter today revealed that not only will there be a match between the respective countries to be played at Mount Smart Stadium, Auckland, New Zealand in October, but an additional fixture to be played between the Kiwis and the Matamatonga next year in June. This match will replace the Kiwis vs Britain fixture that was played in the US. This is a revelation to diehard Matamatonga fans like me, but most importantly to the players. Players have been outspoken on social media demanding more games for Tier 2 nations of the Pacific to play the Dragonauts of Australia, Kiwis and Great Britain. Ticket sales soon to be announced. NRL are doing their best to cash in on the huge success Matamatonga had last year in the World Cup. I know the focus is on Tonga against Tier 1 nations, but I strongly believe that this will pay dividends for the other Pacific nations nations in the near future. The focus should be about how we grow the game in the Pacific rather than the States or anywhere else. The support and love for the game is already there. So what are your thoughts? Do you think this game is worth watching? Are you excited about this game? What other teams should be playing instead of Australia or Tonga? Comment below and we'll see you in the next video.